right. So while we're waiting for the chickens to lay some eggs, waiting for that water to distill, we try another thing and uh, show y'all how magnesium in a ferro rod works. You see, it's been used a few times. I try not to use it more than I have to because I might need this in a desperate. B try to get. I might try to. I might need this in a desperate situation, right? So I don't want to waste it. But this is a, a real common thing that uh, a lot of preppers have. You get these really cheap, like Harbor Freight, damn near gives these away. I got this for a dollar. It's magnesium, the bottom piece, the ferro rod on the top of it, and it comes with this little saw blade attached with this little chain mule. Now the idea is, you take this chain deal and you can take it off, but it's just as easy to leave it on there. You take and you scrape off the magnesium, you create a little pile, and once you got a, a decent sized pile, it's not affected by the wind, because the wind's going to keep blowing, especially when you're trying to do something like this. You create a big enough pile, and then... Once you got a pile, you flip it over, and then you throw a spark. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but I want to try to do that into this little paper bowl that I had laying in the trash. Now, this isn't something that's probably common in most people's day-to-day -day items that they have laying around the house. But as cheap as it is and easy to, to attain, everybody should have. Um, you can find these all just about anywhere. Anywhere for uh, camping, hunting, that sort of thing. You can start a fire real easy with this sort of thing. And uh, this might be something that might save your life one day. So for a dollar, to have these little things here on hand. It's, it's something that uh, everybody should have. So, again, I understand that most people aren't going to have this just laying around. Unless you're mindful and, you know, you've considered and thought about prepping. Or maybe you're, uh, you like to go camping a lot and you don't take a big lighter with you or a match. Um, this is another way that a lot of people who are mindful in this, this sort of thing, this is how they start a fire. Now, magnesium, when it burns, it burns extremely hot. Don't do this in your house. Don't do this around flammable objects. Uh, again, I hold no responsibility if you burn your house down. You, you need to do your own due diligence. Make sure you know what you're doing. And don't do it because I said so. Don't do it because I advised it. It's not that. That's not what's going on here. This is just what I would do in this given situation. It's something that I know how to do and I thought about. And so it's in my prep. And I think it, it should be in yours too, but you better make sure you know how to use it, where to use it, and, and when to use it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start a little fire here. To give you an idea how easy it is more tedious than anything else but it is pretty easy it's much easier than doing like a bow drill or a, or anything like that where you're trying to use your hands and a couple pieces of wood which I might try to do that in a little bit here but that's pretty tough to do so you better know what you're doing if you're going to do that kind of thing too so here we go Damn, bugs going crazy out here. Oh. Yeah, this one's about full. The video might shut off here in a minute.
wind's blowing. That's how it works. As soon as you try to do something like this, the wind's going to blow. Wasn't blowing at all until I started doing it. That's how shit works, right? Damn it, come on, wind. Didn't spur. Didn't blow at all until I started doing this. fair amount, but usually you have to do this a few times. I try to do it once. I got a nice little pile building up. I'm gonna get a couple of sticks here, put in the bottom of this, and uh, this damn wind's gonna blow again. So I get to kind of prepare, have this ready. Phone's about out of storage. Somehow. Just... How it goes, I just wiped the whole damn phone. Alright, it's almost out of storage. So all I'm doing here is breaking up some sticks, putting in the bottom here, these tiny little sticks of great kindling. And uh, once I get a flame, these little sticks will be what holds the flame. And this other stuff on here, dry straw and beads that I had from my compost pile. Uh, come on. The idea is you have to shoot a flame to hit that little pile of magnesium. Now, a couple little, still good. Now, a couple little pieces of that magnesium isn't going to be enough to catch a flame. That's why you have to have a pile. You can't just have it, a, you know, dust. That ain't going to work. It ain't going to catch a spark or nothing. God damn it. Come on now. Shit. Everybody on YouTube is going to think I'm a fucking sissy. I'm trying to get away from the goddamn little bumblebee. 
to aggressive today's it's all warm finally warmed up so they're out here in force come on now if I get stung man I'm pissed I'm kill you all As simple as that, magnesium fire. So, like I said, would that take me about 10, 12 minutes to start to finish? And I had to walk away a few times and everything like that. So, you get the idea.